Alrighty, this is uh, match three. We are on the draw again. Um, we have to mulligan this. This is not good. Not enough lands. This is definitely not enough lands. So we are going to go straight to five. Do not pass go. Um, yeah, sure. I mean, we can't can't really go to four. Just got to keep this and hope to peel some goodies. We do get a scry. Scry is good. Mm, what do I want? I want treasure map. I think treasure map's like the most important card I can see here. Fumigate. Well, we're really far away from that mattering. Uh oh, mono red. This is not the hand to have against mono red. We are in for it. Oh boy, another doomfall. Perfect. We've got some sideboard cards against this deck, but uh, yeah, it's it's going to be uphill. What is cool about this league that I've played, and I think it would have been hard to say it in recent history, is that um, I've played against a different deck each time. That is kind of unheard of. All right, upkeep. <laughs> Three of a kind. That is really, really bad. So yeah, we just um, have to hope they're kind of pinched on mana, maybe, and then just target their hand a bunch. They're not pinched on mana. Okay, that's no good. Path of Metal. Yeah, I'm just gonna die to the land, I think. I think that's how this ends. <laughs> yeah, this land is absurd. It's very, very good. Especially good against Planeswalkers, which I lean on heavily in order to win games. So yeah, this is this is gonna be tough. Um the second ability doesn't really do anything though, which is the nice part. Okay. Hopefully, I get your Hazaret and you are on all lands of your other cards. Hazaret plus land. Don't show me two Hazarets. Ooh, okay. So I have to beat an on crop crasher. I think I can do it. Of course, if they uh, if they drew another hazard, I'm in trouble. But yeah. All right. What? No. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh right. Yeah. This thing taps for one of many colors, so it's extremely good. All right. So. I'm on a pretty short clock here. Oy, oy, oy. Oh man, that draw is actually really terrible. Um, I guess. <sighs> so if I, oh man. <laughs> The, yeah, this deck is like if you just draw too many <laughs> falls, you're just screwed. Um, yeah, there's just no way to trigger revolt in this hand. I think go upstairs with this. Yeah, it's tough. Oh, it's a shock. Oh, wow. Okay. Um. So I guess my play is I'll push here. Uh, 
Man, that was brutal. Hazard? Oh. Jeez. Hazard off the top. GG. That I was very unlikely to get out of just because. I mulliganed five. They did. They, they mulliganed two, but the quality of my hand was like so bad that yeah, there was just kind of no way I was ever getting out of that. Um, let's get all this out of here, please. Um, I guess this is a configuration. It's not terrible. Sunscourge Champion's decent. Um, yeah, I think this is all that I want. This is a bad matchup, to be sure, but you, you've you got stuff. It's got some play to it, but ultimately, you are disadvantaged. Um, I guess I gotta keep it, right? Like, I don't think I get much better than this on six. I'm on the play, so... Yeah, just gotta hope something comes from this hand. So turn one, Drown Catacomb. Turn two, Glacial Fortress. So I'm just like doing nothing on turns one and two. And then turn three, I get Sun Scourge Champion. Okay, they're starting on planes. That, oh, I guess they have just Savannah Lions. Maybe they played the wrong land. Yeah, it looks like that is what happened. Ooh. Well, shoot. <laughs> so, if I hit a land in the next, like, two turns or something, I could go Sunscourge Champion into Hidden Stockpile, sack it into Eternalize it. And that seems pretty damn good. I've already got like a marionette master to just kind of like discard. Like I don't mind discarding a second marionette master to eternalize this thing and just start beating down. Uh, think that's what we're in for because now. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. That that's actually kind of a nice one. That gives me a free revolt trigger, which is kind of cool. Sure. All right, evolving wilds. Let's sack it. All we need now is the forest, so let's grab the forest. Let's get this going. Discard Marionette Master. Not doing that. And now they have to attack with this Relentless Raptor. I get to block. Does this deck even like play combat tricks? I'd be surprised. Give it plus one plus one. Oh no, they're just gonna two for one themselves. That's fine. I'm in for that. Ooh, alright. So here I'm just gonna play Marionette Master. As a four six, I 
and hopefully my opponent loses the game. I don't think there are a ton of two mana answers for a 4-6. Certainly not a lot of three mana answers for a 4-6. Yeah, that's that's just got to be game. Because they go to 10, and then, yeah, I just have it on board. Um, yeah, I think that plan worked. My opponent's draw was super weak. I basically goldfished on them. I don't expect their draw to be that weak in game three, so... Gonna need a little bit of luck on my side, still. But that's okay. <clears throat> a good mono red deck is, I think, something important for like a, a Magic format to have. Jeez, they mulligan every game. That's really that seems pretty unlucky for them. Alrighty, they have Raging Goblin. They have Bomac Courier, so kind of, yeah. Kind of have Raging Goblin. Alright, Fetid Pools, let's run it. Oof, alright. Stop the bleeding. Hmm, hidden stockpile, you say. Well, I don't hate it. I do think that I want treasure map instead. Treasure map into Sunscourge Champion into maybe Kefnet's last word? Steal their Hazaret? That seems like a fine sequence to me. Like, yeah, I just, I don't think I want Hidden Stockpile. I want, like, the... I want to I wanna stick Treasure Map first. Like, maybe they abrade it. Maybe they think it's something I care about. It offers me more play, and it offers them a chance to, like, screw up. On Crop Crasher here would be really good. Interesting. Alright, I'm at 15. Gonna go up to 17. Ah, oh, shoot. I just played that way too quickly. Shoot. That was a punt. That was a punt. That might cost me. Just because, like, sequencing your stuff correctly in a matchup like this is really important. Alrighty, so if they have Hazaret, I get to steal it. But then what? Then I'm kind of screwed. Because my lands don't untap. I would like to draw something other than this. Alright, I'm going to block the Bowman Courier. It's basically because I don't want this thing to die. Also, I would, like, I'm fine with them, like, just drawing four cards. Drawing four random ones. Oh, wow, they just pitched two cards they couldn't cast. I guess three cards they couldn't cast. Alright, that's legit. Fanatical Firebrand. Hmm. Now, which way do I want to take this? Guess we can scry. Ooh, I like that. Um, guess we can keep it on top. And then stockpile.
Hmm. They must be stuck on lands again. Ooh, that's tough. All right, that is tough. I'm taking six here. Oy, oy, oy. Hmm. I could take just four. I don't think that's like quite what I want to do, though. No, nah, maybe it is. So, cast there. Don't want to do anything on upkeep. Man, this courtyard is really sticking it to me. So now I think my plan changes a little bit. I get to I get to actually like play the courtyard, play the stockpile. Attack. Ooh, a third? Damn, so like I could just Yeah. I could say screw a hazard. I don't even need to like yeah. That's really interesting. Huh. Yeah, I don't even need to worry about it with like so many stockpiles, I guess. Oof, another? I guess they have to exert. Sure. And now they don't have to exert, I take it? Sure, this is all fine. Look, top. Hmm. Now what happens? Bottom, get a bunch of treasure. <laughs> All right, this is going to be kind of tight. Are they going to exert both? Seems like the only attack they should make is an exert both. Or maybe they only need to exert one. Maybe they only exert one, hit the Sun Scourge champion, and then I line up blocks like so. Bonk, bonk. Bonk. If they want to like have a burn spell, that's fine. But it seems more likely that this is just like second main phase hazard pass. Although, yeah, definitely do that. 
<laughs> That's fine. <laughs> that is great. Um, yeah, that is so fine. <laughs> Two mana creature, Relentless Raptor, sure. So that is going to block here. Yep. Okay, so now I can treasure map, then scry, and then draw with the cove, sacrificing a treasure, making three servos. I think I'm in for that. No, I don't want that. We'll draw a card. This is really bad, but I guess we'll play it and pass the turn. So, yeah, this has to be Hazard now. Carry Zev. No Hazard. That is gnarly. So, in my upkeep, we're going to scry. Hell yeah. Um, now I guess the play is attack with Sunscourge Champion. Probably trade with the on crop crasher. They might just take it. That'd be great. Nope, they're going to force the issue. Finally, he shows up. He's at the party. Tezzeret. Minus two. You're dead. Um, now we get to do what?
Yeah, man. Bottom. Alright, this is going to be 2 damage. Okay. Redirect to Tez, maybe? Perhaps? Probably? Because it kills Kari Zep? Yeah. Man, fucking Tezzeret is nice. <laughs> Card is so good. Sure. That Tezzeret is deader than a doornail. Jeez, no. No thank you. Um, yeah, let's untap and see what we're cooking with here. I guess a thing I could do is just, like, scry, keep scrying to hit my, um, marionette master. I don't hate that approach. But I actually think I'm just going to let myself draw here. Big mistake. Okay, so... Let's put him to seven. I guess... We can. Hmm. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we like we get to scry once, basically. Okay, they were sick of that. Alrighty. Well, um, we done did it, I guess. Um, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Deck was super fun, and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can hear my dulcet tones kind of all the time. All right, thanks, bye.